to make sure that um, he can get this particular expansion up and running nice and quickly. Now, the um, Idris got uh, one Zergling here on this particular uh, Zelnaga Watchtower, so he can see that the gold is up and running, but he's also getting his own uh, gold expansion over here as well. This um, wolf statue is getting attacked by this banshee. Not really sure what the point of that is, but he does get it down before it dies to fungal growth. So as long as we're keeping on top of our um, statue count, just uh, it's it's a good play there by the uh, Terran player. He's actually got some uh, sensor towers up as well. So we've got some sensor towers just covering what's happening over here at the sides of these expansions. A couple of Vikings coming across just to lay some... Uh, Lay some smack down on the overlords just to make sure to keep them honest. And we have a massive drop coming in here. There are some ultralists in these particular overlords. They're going to drop right on top of all these forces. Fungal growth. Bam. And he's just dropping the ultralists right on top there. Ultralists on the planetary fortress. Going to tear that apart, I would assume. There it does. It goes. It go, does go down. The uh, ultralists are going to probably get handled here by all of these Thors. Blue Flame Hellion surprisingly doing... A nice job there when they group up and they actually do the splash damage across on the Ultralis and uh, the Overlords get the hell out of there because those guys are not going to do anything against uh, all of these Thors um, and the Auto Turrets from the uh, Ravens. It's good to see some Auto Turrets going down. You don't see that often enough these days. Um, and it looks as if Idris is going to chuck down some... Um, he's going to grab his two... Um, extractors here at the fifth and also chuck down a spore crawler and two spines to make sure he's got his uh, at least a minimal sort of defense covered here we've got some hellions coming across to um, try and uh, put some more harass down on the uh, forces here from Hydra but he sees the ultralists come in he probably knows there's a fungal growth around as well and the zerglings are trying to trap all of these uh, hellions and they do get the trap in BAM and those hellions just go absolutely uh, smashed there by the uh, by the Zerglings. We've seen these Vikings still hanging around here, just uh, keeping an eye on what's going on. They're just, you know, chilling out over at the side there, making sure nothing too uh, dastardly like a drop is coming from Hydra. And he now has um, a huge amount of Ultras on the map. There are 15 Ultras out on the map at the moment. This is really getting out of hand for our Terran player. The uh, And there is definitely Creep getting around the map as well, which is also going to really help... Um, the movement of the Ultralists, as we can see, with a lot of Zerglings in here, and the Zerglings will obviously do a lot of damage themselves, given that they will have the cover of the Ultralists, and it looks as if we've got Hydra moving out here, these uh, Ultralists lumbering across, we've got a, a decent sort of force here from our Terran player, who's got a lot of siege tanks um, all set up here to try and defend, and there are a lot of uh, Marauders here as well, which do do um, a lot of damage against the Ultralists, but the Ultralists are just tearing apart everything here, he is going to pull back though because there are obviously a lot of marauders which do the extra damage and these thors are going to try and um, come in here and help out as well there is no uh, 250 mil strike cannon just yet but um, if our terran play gets that up that will definitely help with uh, making sure that the ultralists are kept on top of interestingly uh, our terran player has built the planetary fortress over here as opposed to just moving it across to make sure he's got efficient mining but um, as we can see there is more than enough uh, SCVs at the gold expansion here just to make sure he's on top of the mining and uh, as you can see the main is mined out the uh, this particular expansion down here at the uh, the five o'clock position actually has uh, sort of minimal SCVs just at the moment um, I'm not really sure why he's sort of uh, kept that one low but uh, more ultralists and a couple of investors this time coming through from Idra is going to use all of this this massive force to try and break through this mech wall from our Terran player the tanks siege up the tanks are going to be way too slow those fungal growths going down Thors are dying all over the place all of the siege tanks are dead except for this guy up here he's a really clever cat he's going to uh, make sure that he's out of the out of the range of all of these units planetary fortress laying waste to these uh Ultralist, but it looks as if a couple more are going to come in and try and uh, help out there, but no, he doesn't actually uh, get to take that one out here. Uh, Vikings still trying to clean up all sorts of um, units uh, around the map. Some uh, SCVs hanging around, just making sure that their, their uh, planetary fortress bro is all cool. Um, this expansion really needs to get going from our Terran player here. He's, otherwise, he's just going to be out of luck uh, once this gold is down. And the gold is, um, is certainly getting there in terms of its... Um, its actual uh, productivity it is going to be going down soon it's beautiful scan going down right on top of um, this particular expansion just to check out i assume that was actually if uh, the vikings could land and uh, do something about the gold expansion but obviously there was nothing they were able to do 
Bainley, uh, Nidus Network, sorry, going down for Idra. He's going to see if perhaps if he can get something into the back door of the uh, Terran player, but um, not sure if that'll be possible just at the moment. But it looks as if he's got some Zerglings coming across just to make sure he's controlling all of the expansions, as I mentioned before. Coming across to this one, he's going to try get all these Zerglings on top of this uh, command center, but, he, but uh, our Terran player wisely lifts up and some uh, supporting Terran units are going to come across here. A few Hellions, which will probably just roast up all of these Zerglings. And they do with a couple of losses, but uh, it's better than uh, ha just having that command center sitting there in the air. And finally, it does go down. You'd expect the Planetary Fortress morphing. There it is. Um, so we are going to see another Planetary Fortress on the map over there. Um, just by the way, we actually have another sensor tower here um, from the Terran player. He's going to be keeping an eye on what is happening. He's now got all of these corridors covered. This particular corridor here and this one as well. So effectively, our Terran player is, is, is doing a nice job of keeping good intelligence on what um, Idra is actually doing. But um, it just seems as if he's starting to fall behind in terms of the count of the army. As we can see, this massive uh, group of ultralists coming across here. Fungal growth will go down in a second. There they are. Bam! Right on top of this uh, force here. Infestors shooting uh, infested Terrans all over the place. Ultras are just going to rip through all of these units, I would expect. And I would say this is uh, not looking good for our Terran player. And just um, just doing some some sort of uh, military harass here, Idra. He's just um, you know, making sure that he's uh, not letting the Terran just sit around and build up like 50 siege tanks and 50 Thors, that sort of thing. Because if um, that happens, Idra can be in a bit of trouble because... Uh, as, as uh, many of you Zerg guys would know, uh, sitting around and letting a Terran just um, um, upgrade and um, sort of tank up is a really bad uh, position to be in. So um, he's going to try and make sure he keeps on top of Idra's army. It's, uh, it's ironic, really. It's sort of um, the opposite version of what um, Terrans try to do against Zerg in, in, in that they try and uh, make sure they harass the economy of a Zerg. Um, Idra's doing a great job of actually harassing the military of the Terran. So um, we're seeing some refineries go down here at the uh, the expansion here for our Terran player. And it looks as if Idra might be gearing up to actually have a shot at that particular expansion, uh, given that he is uh, massing up all of these forces. Here's <laughs> some turrets doing, doing a little bit of damage here at the gold expansion. Uh, there really aren't too many um, drones at this one either. So... Um, I would think that our Terran player is going to try and uh, just make sure he can keep on top of um, Idra's gold expansion there. But as we can see, there are just uh, um, Ultralists lumbering around the map, just um, eating up anything that actually comes into range. And tanks are just going to um, sit up here and take shots at the gold expansion. Um, Idra's uh, overlords are having a party over here. This is uh, all the t where you want to go to if you are an overlord. So uh, trying to keep out of range of the Vikings. Some drones coming in, trying to... Uh, run in here and just Leroy Jenkins these uh, Marauders, but obviously that is not going to happen. Um, our Terran player is now... Is that a bit off the side? I think it is, but whatever. Um, building a command center here across at the expansion. So every single expansion has now been uh, mined out or taken by all of our players here. Um, Idra with his great Aspire up, he's probably going to um, head across to uh, Broodlord soon, I would assume. He's got massive amounts of... Um, of uh, lava here, and as we can see, Nidus Worm coming in here, like I said, just keeping a control on, on what our um, Terran player is doing, because if he can keep on top of the army there, and keep on top of the economy, he's uh, obviously going to do um, himself a huge favor, and just make sure he's in a great position, considering he's on way more bases, and now these um, Ultralists are probably going to come across here to this expansion, and they, despite the Planetary Fortress, you would assume they were going to do a uh, massive cleanup job, but the Marauders are coming in, some great micro here by the uh, Terran player using Stim and just sort of stimming away the Marauders, taking out all of these um, Ultralists. These guys just burning up here, leaving a massive uh, pool of crap on the ground of um, Ultralisk flesh, um, and obviously that one would be tasty in a pie. Uh, we've still got this tank here, some Vikings are coming across to cover um, all of these uh, tanks in terms of their air cover, but the Corruptors, sorry, I just totally forgot the name there because um, I never build them because I'm usually terrible at Zerg. 
and uh, I never go air. But anyway, um, the corrupt is coming across to take care of those units. We are probably seeing one of the last pushes here from Idra. He's just going to come across, given that our Terran is uh, starting to get a get a uh, grip on his economy. But uh, if Idra can take this expansion out, you would assume that he's pretty much going to be it because these SCVs. Whilst they will try valiantly to defend and uh, repair the planetary fortress, it is not going to survive. Ultra's coming across here. The last sort of battle, I would assume, uh, with the tanks coming across. The tanks just walking across here. Some Miss Micro there by our Terran player, not sieging up any of these tanks. So I would assume he's just sort of getting a bit out of control, trying to get all of his army across here. Hydra also um, just moving through here. Just these Ultras are absolutely tearing apart everything with their massive damage. Um, against all of these units, especially the armored ones, and I would suspect that is pretty much it for this particular Terran player. A great game here from these two uh, heavyweights of the StarCraft II world on the Korean server. Broodlaw is also on the way. Um, Hydra has, uh, how many is that? We've got three built, and I would suspect that's about like six more Broodlaws just on the way as well. So this is all over, folks. Um, I would assume we're going to get a GG in just a moment, but uh, a great play there by um, Hydra, just controlling the map, controlling the uh, military of the Terran player. And just unfortunate, our Terran player is sort of uh, just a bit behind in terms of um, keeping on the harass on uh, Hydra's uh, economy and that sort of thing. But um, as I said, great work there from Hydra, doing a fantastic job of uh, keeping the map and just keeping on top of the economy. Uh, make sure you post some comments if you want to see some more stuff like this. And uh, stay tuned because I'm going to try and grab some more, um, some more replays from these sort of... Uh, high level uh, folks that are competing in the GSL. Um, thanks very much for watching guys, cheers.